Hi, welcome to Willowbrook Farms. Another episode of Devotions in the Bee Yard. Today, as I sit here with the bees and the Word of God, I think about the fullness of God, how blessed I am to be given today. How God has always taken care of me, watched over me, provided for my needs, and just orchestrated every step of my life. The things I understand and the things I don't understand, he works them all together for my good and for his good. But today's devotion is be filled with the fullness of God. An empty soul is like a vacuum cleaner that sucks in the dust from the world's system of demons. Because the soul is empty, it receives worldly spirits and projections from the atmosphere and begins to be conformed to the world. That is why it is necessary to keep the soul filled with God's word. Oh, what a privilege to have the love of Christ possess us on earth in three dimensions of time to have that love pass all knowledge of my past and all knowledge of my sins. His love goes beyond that and in spite of that. What a privilege it is to be filled with all the fullness of God so that he may do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the operational power and ability that works in us through his Holy Spirit. You might ask, how can I remain full with the fullness of God? It's by continuing to hear the word of God, which produces faith. Romans 10, 17. Faith comes from hearing the word of God. Not just reading it, but hearing it. Then immediately that faith gives me the grace to obey what I hear. Because of the Holy Spirit's operation and, and divine ability. When I, when I obey, as soon as I hear the word, my faith begins to serve others by the same love in which I've been rooted and grounded. There is a manifestation of love because of my obedience to the word through the activity of faith. Oftentimes, we can sit in church, listen to the sermon, hear the words, the sounds that the preacher's putting together, but do we truly hear it? Are we truly listening? Are we focused in or are we thinking about that pot roast that's gonna burn if he goes too much further with a sermon and we don't get home and turn the crock pot off? Are we thinking about that upcoming car repair or an issue at work or a disobedient child who's misbehaving in the service? Are we truly listening and hearing the word that's being spoken? If the answer to that is yes, good. Are we doing it? Are we thinking about how can I apply this to my life? How can I take what I'm hearing and act upon it? If we just hear and we never do what we hear, what good is that? It doesn't produce change in our life. If I go into my beehive and I see an issue and I say, there's an issue in my beehive. And then I close it up and walk away. What good have I done? I've identified a problem, but I haven't done anything with it. You know, maybe I go into one of my hives and I'm like, there's too few bees in here. They're not going to build up and make it through the winter. It is what it is. I put the top on and I walk away, those bees die. But if I see the problem, 
I hear the word of God saying, change this, fix this. And then I act on it. This colony has too few bees. This colony has more than enough. I can either combine some of those bees with the weaker colony, or I can just take the weak colony, put newspaper on top of the strong colony and add the weak colony on top of that newspaper and do a newspaper combine. And instead of having a strong hive and a weak hive, I end up with a really strong hive that's gonna last through the winter. If I hear the word of God and don't act on it, it's like seeing that hive that needs to be combined or added resources to in order to make it through the winter, the trial of life, the tough time coming, and just putting the lid on and walking away. Don't do that. Be responsible with what you hear. Apply it to your life. God speaks something to you, asks you to do something for him. Even if it seems radical, say yes and follow through. You will be blessed. You will be amazed the direction he takes your life. As I continue this journey of building my faith and walking in faith and the journey of learning how to be a better beekeeper. I want you guys to follow along, subscribe, turn on the notifications so that you know when the next video is uploaded. Drop down into the comments, ask questions. Why did you do this instead of that? Have you thought about doing this? Hey, I noticed you were doing this how does that work? Why do bees do that? Ask questions in the comment section. Interact. Let's get to know each other. Willowbrook Farms, happy bees, healthy honey. God bless.